When people fight, it doesn't actually work out as a trade of punches. Okay, it doesn't work like that. What happens is one person lands a punch. Yeah, oh! And then I go like this. And then he comes in, I grab because I get desperate. They say most fights end up on the ground. No. I can say as a career prosecutor for over a decade, I saw so many, and not carefully curated for YouTube, I saw so many surveillance footage tapes of real fights, street brawls. We prosecuted somebody. People didn't end up on the ground grappling, of course. They ended up on the ground when they were knocked out or hit and fell down. What happened in 99% of the fights is that they lost the shirt. Because the reality is, as soon as I get hit or hit, I get glanced, I'm desperate. Even if I'm not hitting, I miss, I start to grab. And both sides are grabbing. And this kind of thing is happening. And trying to get grabbed. So this is what I call stand-up grappling. I need to be able to deal with somebody grabbing my jacket, which is where we can start to use some of the techniques to release. It's not all about grabbing the wrist. So you often have these things where you go, oh, wrist, no one grabs you by the wrist. Well, sometimes it's not the wrist, is it? So you can see how you can use techniques. I'll wash you. To get up, see that? Which again, one, two. Works the same yeah. if I gotta be here as well. Yeah, can do the same thing. Or, yeah, more shooting. Grab the other hand. That way. That way. Grabs that way. So, yep. And of course, from there, you can use the other hand to do the strike. You don't have to use this hand, or you can use both. So this kind of grabbing we're going to do in the sparring, when we're moving, and grab, he wants to move away. Yeah, now he's got me. And now we can punch him there. So it's not all about me trading punches. This is where clothes fighting, gi fighting. That's why we wear gis. Because they can rip apart, you haven't lost your shirt. Lost count of the number of times one person completely lost his shirt. It was often pulled off backwards. Because he'd be pulling, the other guy'd be pulling, he'd pull away, and then he'd pull off this way. Actually, that's part of the I pulled him through, and he was wearing a jumper, and I grabbed him, and he rested. He wriggled out of his jumper, so I was left holding his jumper. So now I need to know how to get out of it. So this. Fuck! Yeah? Still holding on, I've got a lot. Okay. You probably back with the reversal. Watch. There. Yeah. Okay, so that's part of the movement as well. This part of the movement. Let's do it slowly and I won't break up. Yeah, keep going, keep going, go. There you go. My technique is to break up as he's doing. Watch. And I'm going to do another part of the movement. I break there. And I'm doing this. Okay. So that's my breakout. Well, so I don't pause there, I move constantly through. Okay. And that's this part of the movement. We continue. Okay. That's one. So going over the top, over the top, and I'm going over the other way. That goes like this. So more shaking. Mm -hmm. There, one, and I go straight into number two. There. Again, one, two, three. He's going to hold on to his clothes, my clothes, sorry, and I can use this just as a leverage. Okay, careful. Go. Okay. 